Hey there, welcome back to Umrako Learning Base. My name is Isha and in this video, we'll look at the back office template editor in Umrako. A template in Umrako is built on the concept of razor views from ASP.NET MVC. You can find the templates folder in the templating section of the settings section in the Umrako back office. If you need an alternate template or a new one, right click the templates folder and choose create. For this video, I'll use the contact template that I already have here. You'll see some default template markup and some basic formatting that I've added in the back office template editor. We'll take a quick look at the front end. Currently, it displays only the page title since we've rendered the partial view from the template. Let's look at the options provided in the template editor. Currently, this template doesn't have a master template attached to it. You can inherit a master template by clicking the master template button and selecting a template of your choice. Since I already have a master template here, I'll select that. This changes the layout value in the template markup to master.cshtml. I'll save the template file. And you'll now notice that the contact template has moved under the master template. Moving on, the next option in the template editor is the insert dropdown. The insert dropdown consists of value, partial view, macro, and dictionary item. If you select value, you can display the value of custom or standard fields from the current page with options to add a default value or make it recursive. For this video, I'll select contact intro. Similarly, you can insert a partial view, macro or dictionary item by clicking on the relevant item you want to display on the front end and Umrako will add the code to your template editor. The next option is Query Builder. In many cases, you might want to do more than display values, such as creating a list of pages in the navigation menu or displaying a list of product categories, articles, blogs, and so on. To do so, we'll click on the Query Builder and select the type of content we wish to display from the content node. Additionally, you can add conditions to your query. You can see the result of your query here. And if you're happy with it, you can click on submit to add the query to your template editor. The final option in the template editor is sections. The first option is render child template. You can use this option, for example, in a master template where you wish to render the contents of a child template by inserting a render body placeholder. The next option is render a named section. But before we can render a named section, we need to define a named section. You can define any part of your template as a named section by wrapping it in section tags. For example, let's define a named section. I'll call it contact and submit it. I'll add a very basic code in this tag and save it. To render this named section, we'll go to the layout page and in the heading tag, we'll click on sections, select render a named section, enter the section name, in this case contact, and submit it. We'll save the template and take a look at how the contactors page looks like on the front end. We have the named section here and then the section header, below which we have the contact intro tag, login form, and the output of the query builder. And that's pretty much it for this video. Take a look at the templates editor and play around with the different options Umrako has to offer. Until next time, take care and stay safe.